And I'm doing another version of this as laid out so that people can paint across there. And I wanted to show you that you could bake across uh, UV sets with uh, namespaces as well and not get anything messed up. So you can go into texture settings here and go into bake mesh maps and I do have a version. Uh, I'm just going to do 2048 for all of them uh, and then I can always go back like to the skull and bake that at a 49.6 separately. But basically I have an ape skull high with everything packed into it and that's of course arranged by namespaces so where's all my low res but we still have our separate texture maps or texture sets I should say. So what I'm getting at is over over here in my normal parameters, I'm going to go in here and say my normals are always going to be my mesh name. Everything else can just be baked in there. I'm not going to be animating anything, uh, but I do want nice, clean, normal bakes. And then down here, you're going to see bake all texture sets, or uh, since I have the eyes selected, I could only I could bake just the eye texture set mesh maps, and then just go one by one like I did previously. Uh, but in this case, I can just hit bake all texture sets. And on the iris, there's actually going to be um, things that it doesn't bake because when I export it out of ZBrush. I went ahead and left the iris off because I don't need to bake a normal or anything for that. It's just a fairly just high res geometry that doesn't need any information. Uh, so you're going to see some red X's over here. Uh, but you're going to see it is going to go through uh, all of these maps, uh, do a nice clean bake because it's doing the normal by namespace, and then it's just going to populate the eyes, iris, skull, and mat, uh, and leave you in pretty good shape. And you can just do it all at once. And like I said before, if you want to go back into the skull after you bake all the 2048s, uh, just go to the skull texture set, go into bake mesh maps, bump that up to 4096, and then just hit that right hand button that says just bake my skull texture set and it'll rebake. And when it does bake, this is under the options, I'll launch another substance painter while that's working. Uh, I can open a sample in here and we'll just do meat mat. If you go into edit settings and you scroll down, you see this uh, baking option, save pre-processed scene files. Oh, and also here's enable automatic UV unwrapping if you want that turned on, which you probably do unless you want it to give you a warning uh, instead of just uh, laying out UVs. I was going to say, I think what that does is spit out the um, asset bin file, but uh, generally speaking, when you're baking in Painter, it'll be a slow bake the first time through, and then if you want to do iterative bakes, uh, it bakes a little bit faster because it does have everything already loaded. And remember, uh, these ones up here are just because I didn't have a high-res iris loaded in, so that's uh, expected. And then, like I said, if I need to go, let's hold down Control alt and right-click the skull over here, and then the skull, since it does take up so much texture space, uh, if we go in, I mean, it's not terrible. The resolution isn't terrible, especially if you're going to be viewing the object from, you know, full body. Uh, but if you're going to get right up on it, you may want to go back into the skull texture map, do the bake mesh maps. Let's drop this, uh, put this to a 4096, and we'll say uh, just bake skull mesh maps. And I did just go and look it up. The Aspen file uh, is the save preprocessing file. So if it does spit those out, uh, that's for faster processing. You can uh, delete them, but it'll regenerate them as needed unless you go into your preferences and check that off. And I skipped over the slower baking, but you're going to see this is the real time. I'm not speeding it up or anything. This is the ambient occlusion, curvature, position, and thickness map. And remember, this is at 4096. So with those RTX cores, uh, the ray tracing uh, cores on the 2080 Ti, makes these a lot faster to bake through. And we're done.